Nanjing, an ancient city, sometimes capital of China and home to a long, rich history and warm people. There, in the district of Qixia, in an area known as Xianlin, one can find a subway station called Shuizhe Lu. In a spot not too far from that station is the area in which I have resided for the last four years. This is Shuizhe Lu Station, and this is Xianlin, a quickly growing, modern, international community on the eastern edge of the city. By walking for just a few minutes, you will find the area peppered with schools, universities, fast food restaurants, supermarkets, shopping malls, convenience stores, even international import shops, all catering to the local population. For perhaps 10 kilometers in the area directly around me, there are hundreds, maybe even thousands of Chinese, Koreans, Japanese, Germans, French, English, Americans, Indians, people from a wide variety of backgrounds, all living and working in this area. Perhaps it's because of this abundance of international communities that such a wide variety of restaurants can be found locally. American, Japanese, Korean, Thai and Indian, Turkish, Italian. Even Mexican food is readily available to anyone looking for it. With so many options to choose from, I don't even know where to start. Hello everyone, I am Matthew in Nihon, and this is Restaurants in China. Actually, I was lying. I know exactly where to start. From the very beginning, the restaurant that started it all, Kikujiro's Natsu. All right, so this is it. Kikujiro's Natsu, the first real restaurant I became a regular at in China. Let's go take a look. Hello, Cha Cha. Hello, Matthew. Hello. <laughs> this is Sha Chao, one of my best friends in the world and Sha Hao's cousin. Hello, Sha Chao. Hey, hello, Master. So, we've known each other for what, four years now? Yes. So, one question. Why, the, why beetles and Japanese food? Why beetles? Yes, and why Japanese. are beetles in baseball bar with Japanese food? Because uh, our boss like the Beatles, and uh, our restaurant is that Japanese restaurant. <laughs> that simple. Yes. No longer history. No longer history. I seem to remember there being a story you told me once, oh, where, no, no, no. where you liked something. Yes, I like Beatles, but and uh, he liked I... Japanese food. <laughs> no, not it. I like the Beatles and uh, I, I like football, but. But maybe my brother like uh, baseball more. I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, also because uh, mm, 
because our uh, uh, because uh, we have we have uh, because this 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 restaurant is the Japanese restaurant, but it ha it uh, has some difference. Um, it's a not not it's not a traditional um, Japanese restaurant. Uh, mm. Sorry, I don't know how to say. So you are the manager of this restaurant. Yes. And how long has Kikushiro's Natsu been around? Uh, uh, seven years. Seven years. Yes. All right. And this is the the redesign. What we're looking at right here, because before it used to look quite different, yes. right? Yes. And there's a new menu and an even newer menu coming out soon. Do we know when? Yes. Um. Um, I, I, I don't know. Uh, okay. I, it's, not, it's not sure. All right. Well, we'll take a look at the menu and I'll pick some things that look good. <laughs> okay. I will give you the menu. Every time I set foot in this restaurant, I'm overcome with memories. As I've said in other videos, four years is a long time. And this was the very first restaurant I ever became a regular in. When I first came to Nanjing, I was struck by the existence of a Japanese baseball bar across the street from my apartment in a city that, well, let's just say, has a rather long history with Japan, particularly during World War II. It was interesting enough that I set foot and I made my first friend, who eventually became one of my best friends. And through him, I met his cousin and everyone that became my family. Of course, in any restaurant, regulars have their preferred spots. This is mine. The very first spot I sat at when I first came to this restaurant four years ago. And now we have the menu. Kikushiro's Natsu has always had a rather wide selection between sashimi, sushi, katsukare, omurice, chahan, uh, they even have miso ramen and a kind of karai or spicy ramen, along with udon. Their more recent addition to the menu, and an interesting one, has been pizza. Which is, well, you know, interesting. And they have Japanese hamburger, they have vegetables, they have okonomiyaki and tataki. And what they're very famous for is the yakitori, which is paired particularly well with beer. It goes well in a bar setting, I believe. And they even have karaoke, french fries, and a few other options. So with all of these choices, what do I want? What to choose, what to choose? The ultimate crisis of our age. You know what they say, when in doubt, play to your strengths. And so I did just that, and I ordered kitty. Oh, wow. That was a great choice. As you can hear, the music is kicked on, and so has the atmosphere. And thus has this restaurant earned the name, The Beatles Bar. And just now, I've been provided with an appetizer. I'm not actually sure what it is, but it looks delicious. So let's give it a try, shall we? Something, whatchamacallit. Ooh, wow, that's really nice. It's, it's pork, but it hasn't been cooked too long. It's got good flavor, good balance. Let's try the vegetables now. Also really good. I'm not, I want to know what sauce they're using. It's just the right level of crispiness, but it's not overdone. And now I guess for the piece de resistance. Mush that looks like tuna fish, but isn't tuna fish. I don't know, but. Mm. I think I prefer the pork and the vegetables, but it's good all around. 
I'm pretty happy with this. It's a good appetizer. In the end, I finally settled on something called shishito, or bacon-wrapped peppers. Oh, oishiso. Of course, before you eat the shishito, you need to prepare it properly. And now, I give you shishito. Mm. Oh wow, umai. I mean, I've eaten shishito here before, but this is very well prepared. Prepared. They balanced it perfectly this time. I am. Oh wow. Oh, I, I really recommend shishito. A fair warning, though. It it's a little spicy for some, but my God. Oh, it's so good. For the main dish, I settled on karai ramen, or spicy ramen. Alright, so let's give the ramen a try. I'm actually very, very excited because I love spicy food. Wohan aila in Chinese, or I'm not sure, but I think watashi wa karai ga daisuki desu. In Japanese. I'm probably wrong, but my Japanese followers will correct me. I'm still learning. But let's give it a try. Mm. Oh, that is really good. That's that's very good flavor balance. That's not quite spicy, but it's very very delicious. To be honest, um, I've eaten the ramen here before, and when the restaurant that was still new, or when I was first coming, the ramen was never great it was one of the weaknesses of the restaurant but recently they had a Japanese chef come by and retrain everyone on how to cook the, the, the food and this is really good I mean whether you like spicy or not this is well prepared of course they've got this I don't want to say it's ginger I'm not sure what this is but it's well cooked too it's soft but it's not too soft and it's not too chewy it's got a decent balance and they've got pork in here, they've got let's see, the pork. Mm. I strongly, strongly recommend the ramen here. This is well worth it. The final item I ordered for the evening was Topiko Sushi or Crab Egg Sushi. And now for the final item of the evening, Tobiko Sushi. But first, wasabi. You can observe as I take the wasabi and I mix it into the sauce. Because as I said, I love spicy. Although I've always found that wasabi has more of a mustard quality. Well, it is a mustard, basically. But it's a mustard with a bit of a kick. So, I'll go ahead and mix these together. And finally, I will take the sushi. And I will put it just a dip. And now let's give it a try. Mm. pretty good. It's fresh. Mm. And actually the combination of wasabi with uh, soy sauce mixes more with the, the natural flavors of the sushi. So I'm, I'm very happy with this dish. I think this has been a great outing. Plus I've actually had some uh, dishes I haven't had before, or at least not in a long time. So 
It's always good to try something new. Well, I was given one surprise this evening. I'm not actually sure what they are, but I can definitely say that they go very well with beer. Very peanutty. All right, yeah. Xiao Chao, okay. one of my best friends, my brother. I'm gonna miss you when I leave. Uh. And so my evening at Kikujiro's Natsu draws to a close. It's as vibrant, open, and warm a place as it ever was. I hope to visit it many more times, as it's the perfect place to bring family, friends, even a date. But in case I can't, I'll always have the memory of tonight and the last four years. And that's it. Come to Kikuchiro's Natsu. Tell them Matthew or Joe Yiming sent you. And I promise you, you will never regret it. Until next time, this is Matthew and Nihon. And I want to always encourage you to be willing to go beyond the horizon. Kampai. Before I finish this video, I want to take a moment to thank my great friend and this week's special guest cameraman, Totoro! Thank you very much. Here's to you, buddy! Kampai! I'm trying to film, and this speaker keeps broadcasting obnoxiously and endlessly. Oh my god, this is annoying.